Hey Monica, as you know, I've really been into Alan Watts lately and I enjoy this particular quote. I thought I'd talk about it today. Women are slaves to the fashion game with its basic rule, I have conformed sooner than you. Now, of course, I wanted to go and really look at the word conform. It means to agree, to behave according to social standards or comply with the rules. And Wikipedia says that fashion is a popular aesthetic expression in a certain time and a certain context, especially with clothing, footwear, lifestyle accessories, hairstyle, body proportions, you know, etc. We, we know what fashion is. And I just find it really interesting in the terms of a game. And you know it's a game because it has players and it has rules. The players are trendsetters and trend followers and the trendsetters have status and they want to remain unique in that status and the trend followers want to copy the trendsetters and close the distance between them and erase their uniqueness. So it kind of becomes like this game of cat and mouse. You dress for the job you want and you figure out how to do that by emulating the people who are on top, on the, who have the job that you want. And the people on top are very often inventing new ways to have a symbolic fashion representation of how to be on top that has not yet been emulated so they can remain unique. If millionaires and movie stars started wearing togas, then a lot of people looking for that social status to rub off on them would start looking for subtle ways to incorporate toga themes or movements or or, um, or style into subtly into their into their clothing until it had normalized to the point where everyone was wearing togas at which point the millionaires and the movie stars would look for something different because they're always looking to not be like the masses you could call the winner of a trend following game a fashionista oscar de la renta calls this person a fashion victim a fashion victim is a victim because they fall prey to fads. They don't control fads, fads control them. You know, and Alan Watts says, we all play games in life, whether it's the corporate ladder game, the fashion game, the Catholicism game, or even the I've evolved beyond playing those kinds of games game. And as we try to escape the games, we often find ourselves just playing a different version of it and therefore discover it's not that we're playing the game, but we are the game. It's our nature to game. It's intrinsic to who we are. So there are fashion victims playing the fashion game. And then there is Oscar de la Renta playing the I'm immune to fads game. But they're both still playing a game and they're both still moving their piece on the board so as to win. I'm wondering if the word conformity has an emotional charge for you. Sometimes for me, it can seem like a bad thing at first glance. But then I think of every time I've been in a situation where I don't know what to do. You know, like trying to find the entrance to a public event. When I see a line of people and they're all holding pink papers, I get really excited and I run over to that line and I ask them, are you going to the same public event that I'm going to? What is that pink paper about? Do I need one? There's a classic candid camera skit of people in an elevator and I've linked to it below in the description. I want you to go and watch it because I have some questions for you. Really what I want to know is how much is conformity built into us? Is it a game worth playing? And if so, what's the best way to be playing it? If we decide not to play the game of conforming, say to fashion, uh, what replaces that? And is it really any better? I'll talk to you next week.